Hello and welcome back to Real Analysis. And as always, many many thanks to all the nice people that support this channel on Steady or PayPal. In today's part 14, we will talk about the heine borel theorem. In order to understand this, we first have to recall what a compact set is. Here I can tell you the definition we use for a compact set other people often call sequentially compact. It just means that we use sequences to describe compactness. Now please recall that any subset A of the real numbers is called a compact set if it forces any sequence to cluster. So a sequence with members in A has at least one accumulation value. However, the important thing is that this accumulation value also has to lie inside the set A. Also, please note here, this is a short formulation for saying that we have a sequence of real numbers where each member is an element of the set A. Okay, so we know the definition, therefore we now can look at examples. And I would say we start with the simplest one. The empty set does not have any elements, therefore this claim here is trivially true. Hence, the set is compact. Similarly, we can take another small set, so a set with just one element. This one is also compact, because there is only one possible sequence. In this case, we have the constant sequence 5 with accumulation value 5. Ok, so this was not so hard, therefore now my question would be, what is about the largest subset we can choose? There we have to look at all sequences of real numbers. For example, I can give you the sequence that increases with n. So this sequence is divergent to infinity, therefore there is no accumulation value as an element of R. Hence we immediately have a set that is not compact. Next let's look at a closed interval. Such an interval with real numbers c and d is indeed a compact set. Ok, so let's try to prove this. For this let's assume we have a sequence with members inside this interval. Hence we can immediately conclude that this sequence is bounded from above and bounded from below. In short we say the sequence is bounded. However, now you know, we can apply a very famous theorem. Namely the bolzano weierstrass theorem for sequences. It tells us that a bounded sequence has at least one accumulation value. And this one we can call A and we know it's a real number. Now the only information that is still missing is that A is actually an element of our set. However, this is guaranteed because we already know that such an interval is a closed set. Here please recall, closed means that we can't leave the set by using sequences from the inside. And with this we have proven that the set is indeed compact. Hence all intervals of this form we now can just call compact intervals. Ok, now we are ready for the heine borel theorem. It tells us that the two properties we used in this proof here are exactly what we need for a compact set. Hence it's a theorem that is not hard to remember at all. So for any subset A of the real numbers we have that it is compact if and only if A is bounded and closed. It's essential that we have both things here together. This theorem is a very good result for us because it tells us that we can substitute the complicated notion of compactness with the simpler notions of boundedness and closedness. Ok, so this is the heine borel theorem which holds for the real numbers and you really should remember it. For the rest of the video I would say let's do the proof of it. Indeed, the direction from the right hand side to the left hand side we have already proven. Of course, you remember, the only things we needed for the argument above is that A is a bounded set, such that we can use bolzano weierstrass and the other thing was that the set is closed. Which guarantees us that the accumulation value is actually in A. Therefore, only the direction from left to right remains. Hence, we assume that our set A is compact. Now, for showing the closeness, we take any convergent sequence in the set A. And let's call the limit for the moment A tilde. First, we only know that the limit is a real number. If we can show that it is also an element in A, we have shown that the set is closed. Ok, so at this point we can use that A is compact. Because it tells us that the sequence AN has an accumulation value. And as before, let's call this accumulation value just A. 
And now we already know a convergent sequence can only have one accumulation value. Hence our limit a tilde is the same as a. And therefore also an element in our set a. So the set a is closed. Okay, so it remains to show that a is bounded as well. And in order to show this we use a proof by contraposition. More concretely this means we assume that a is not bounded and want to show that a is not compact. Now whenever we have an unbounded set we can construct a sequence in this set such that all sequence member fulfill that the absolute value of a n is greater than n. And this should work for all natural numbers n. And because of this property such a sequence can't have any accumulation value. This is not hard to show but maybe it's a good exercise for you. Of course the important thing is the result. We have a sequence that has no accumulation value therefore the set can't be compact. And that's the whole proof of the heine boel theorem. So you see it's not so complicated but still the important part is that you remember the theorem. Okay then I hope I see you in the next video when we continue with another topic in real analysis. Have a nice day. Bye.